All right, guys, welcome back. So let's have a look at Robinhood stock today. Uh, so it's a weekend, 1658. March officially is here. First of March, it closed at its 52 week high. I'm looking at the weekly chart of the Robinhood. And I wanted to show you guys um, what I'm watching from here and what I'm watching as a trader, as an options trader. So mainly I trade options. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel for daily updates. So let's straight jump into the performance of Robinhood. If you are not familiar, they, um, they went public recently a couple years ago at around 31, I believe and all-time highs, 85. So with all that crypto craze where people are jumping into um, Coinbase, right? Coinbase has been going crazy, but I don't wanna say that Robinhood is not following it, perfectly following it, but price-wise, um, I'm more attracted to Robinhood, even market capitalization-wise. So here's the performance of the Robinhood basically for the past two years for up, up in any time frame you want to look at it five day one month three months six months year to date 52 week two year so that means stock is in an uptrend stock is bullish and any pullback that it's going to have in the future um, near future especially for me personally for me it's a viable pullback uh, market capitalization of Robinhood at the moment, I think 15 billion. Let's take a look. Just to be sure, 100% uh, sure. And what I'm watching uh, in terms of support resistance levels, 14 and a half billion dollar market capitalization versus um, Coinbase, which is 45 billion in my opinion. And they're not reporting earnings until uh, 8th of uh, May. So everybody, for some reason, Q1 is market making all times highs. More people are trading. More people are interested in options. More people are interested in crypto. Well, guess what? These exchanges are making money. These brokerages are making money off the volume. So let's switch to daily chart. So near its all time highs, I'm looking at the daily chart of Robinhood. If you take a look at the moving averages, red line 200 day, uh, yellow um, 50 day, and this blue is 20 day, and this gray is five day simple moving average above its all of its moving averages, and I'm looking basically for this stock maybe a run away from here all the way to 20 bucks or pull back. If it does pull back, um, I'm watching as a support uh, this breakout level of uh, 13 if we do get it actually but as a resistance if it keeps pushing well we have to go back to a couple years where um, well multi-year breakout actually this level of $16 is uh, we it hasn't seen this high since 2022 uh, March so it's been exactly two years since Robinhood traded above $16 if it does get back above it, I'm gonna be watching slight resistance at 1950s, but above that, we can go all the way to 30 bucks. So 20, a little bit of a resistance at 23.50, and then all the way to 29.30. That's the resistance upside um, levels I'm watching for Robinhood. Another thing I wanna show here is well, there's not that many shorts, 8% of the float short. Um, also, I wanted to look at the option activity. So these are the volumes outside of the volumes for the strike prices uh, monthly, okay? Because that's where the most of the volume is concentrated. And one thing is interesting to me is January 17th, 2025, were 152,000 call option open interest so that means these contracts were opened and people are holding it so what i do is i go to that uh, strike i go to that date and just take a look at the option activity what's going on which strike has the most 
calls. And you can see we have 90,000 open interest in Strike 20, which is pretty pricey, $3.315, but it's a leap, okay? Leap is long-term equity, basically options. Um, and then 50,000 open interest at $25 strike price. So it could easily be uh, somebody opening up, uh, doing a spread, buying 20, selling 25. That's why we might have this much of a big difference where even if you do a debit spread uh, 20 to 25 so basically you are risking dollar to possibly make four dollars on top so five bucks on top so not a bad risk reward so that's what's going on with robin hood i don't want to make it too long video but thanks for watching see you in the next uh, stock technical um, analysis peace